tonight's episode of the Bachelor Princess Edition. Our dashing prince leaves his mansion to visit the princesses in their own humble abode. What will he find there? Love? Friendship? My cat, Mr. Noodles, who I lost three weeks ago? Let's find out! The first stop for our Prince Charming is a home in a kingdom far, far away. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Wow. You live here? Yes. I do all the cleaning myself. It's spotless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Her home is enormous. It is almost as big as mine, and I have the biggest home in the world. So I was quite literally taken aback, and it's entirely spotless. It looks like a museum. I honestly was afraid to walk around. And you say you live alone? All by myself. <laughs> totally alone. <laughs> <laughs> so no maid? No. No butler? Nuh-uh. No bathroom attendant? No, no. Wait, what? Never seen that before in my life. I went to the restroom. No one was in there. I didn't even know what to do. I stood in the dark for five minutes. Wow. You truly are a self-made woman. You know it. <laughs> Our prince's next stop finds him in the home of Mardi Gras, New Orleans. Okay, you love surprises. Ah! Well, this is my little place. Wow. <laughs> it's so modest. Well, my daddy worked hard. Mm. Mama and I, too. Mm. But what makes this house a home is good old fashioned New Orleans cooking. Is something already cooking? Just a little something I whipped up. How did you do that? We literally just got here. Don't you worry about the house and one, sweetheart. Just let the intoxicating aroma fill your senses. Wow. That, that's really good. I know. I'm just so proud of you. You, I mean, look at all of this. Giant spoons. I would have never even known about this giant spoon unless I come here. I'm glad, sweetheart, that you're learning how to do things for yourself. Yes. Can I eat this one? It looks really I, tasty. I wouldn't advise that. Now our prince is off to the island kingdom of Corona to visit the last of our remaining princesses. Well, here she is. Wow. I, Rapunzel's nice. She's very sweet. Um, you know, she likes reptiles. Small rodents, that's fun. You know, we could have a menagerie, I suppose. How did you get up there? Well, easiest ways to climb. What? It was enormous. And there's no stairs. What? No stairs. The architect should be beheaded, is what I think. Um, I don't, I don't know about this, so you don't have to do anything. Oh, come on, it's easy. Here, catch. We could do, yeah. She wanted me, she, she wanted me to climb. Me, myself to climb. <laughs> no one to carry me. I, I honestly, she's very sweet, but you know, she's got a lot of life experience. She still needs to put under her belt. The first thing she has to learn is princes never climb. Ever. God. A little help, could you like pull? I guess I'm stronger than I thought. 
Our princesses have gathered for the penultimate rose ceremony. Tensions are very high. This princess is truly a self-made woman. She does all the cleaning and all of the work. I truly admire your work ethic. I present this rose to Cinderella. Stop it! Get go, please! I knew I would win this. I mean, he's my prince. Oh, no! <laughs> Come on, babe. Let's get out of here. Uh, actually, there's another rose and another round. <laughs> oh. Right. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for the rose, babe. <laughs> Uh, Rapunzel, your tower is great and, and all, but I can't lift my arms above here. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe you should just work out. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to do that. I present this rose to Tiana. Oh my goodness, thank you. Yes. Seriously though, what was with that outburst in Rilla? Yeah. That was messed up. Oh, what? Oh, it's it's midnight? Oh, no. Oh, no. I gotta go. Oh, no. Well, it's only six o'clock, but that's our show. Will Cinderella be able to clean up the competition like she cleaned her house? Will Tiana be able to cook up a win? Find out next time on the Bachelor Princess Edition final episode. Next time on the Bachelor Princess Edition. It all ends here. I can't believe this is all ending. This has been drawn on way. Tonight is going to be interesting. Just, just say what's in your heart tonight. Cindy, may I call you Cindy? No. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Hey, to walk. And now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for and definitely did not think was coming tomorrow evening. Prince Charming, you have one rose left and two princesses. Yes. Do you like the long hair on a woman? Oh, um, you know, it tends to get in my mouth when I speak from across the room, which is weird. You know, it's like she's not even in the same room that I'm in, and then there's like a Rapunzel hair in my mouth. Her shower drains must look messy. I mean, there's so much. Why couldn't you um, scale that tower? Don't you work out? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I slay dragons, I've already said this. Uh, but no, the physical exertion is different, you know. I mean, listen, slaying a dragon really just takes, you, you distract it, you shine it, your shield in its face, it rears back like they always do, and then <laughs> right in the neck. Easy. No muscles required. She wanted me to use my hands, my hands, no gloves, to then use her hair as a rope? Completely different set of muscles. It is, it is, I don't know how she did it. I, it was very, uh, very unnerving, honestly. I, there's something wrong with that woman. <laughs>